We're going to be talking about a bit of news today that is straight out of a science fiction novel. Astronomers have proved the presence of underground tunnels on the moon. Well, of one of them at least. This might immediately jump out to some people because underground tunnels on the moon is an enduring image of not just science fiction, but also potentially future science on the moon. In these tunnels, lava and magma used to flow thousands and millions of years ago. And maybe thousands of years into the future, there will be humans and animals living here, well shielded from the dangerous surface of the moon. The concept of lava tubes or tunnels on the moon is not new, obviously. It's a commonly referenced and hypothesized idea. There have been speculations in the past of tunnels existing. Even Chandrayaan-1 found certain features that indicate the presence of a tunnel. These tunnels are located underground and the dips that they form on the surface are called starlights. Many such starlight features have been discovered before. Underground tunnels on the moon and subsequently even Mars are important for human habitability whenever humans begin settling on other astronomical bodies. We know that the moon has almost no atmosphere and Mars has a thin, wispy one at best. Due to the lack of atmosphere as well as an ozone layer, there is no distribution of heat on the surface of the moon and there is also no protection from cancer-causing solar radiation. But rock and earth, that is mud and soil and land, they protect from radiation, they offer a shield. So subsurface tunnels become hugely important from the perspective of safety and habitability for humans to be on the moon or eventually on Mars. Astronomers have theorized that these caves and tunnels exist and scientists have been looking for evidence for a long time. However, while there have been speculations and hypothesized sites of lunar tunnels, none have been observed through direct evidence until now. A decade or so ago, in fact, a team even discovered a deep hole, but that wasn't a cave or a tunnel. These new findings were made from data from an old mission. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, has been going around the moon for a while. And this team, led by Italian astronomers, were able to conclusively model through radio data and demonstrate that the underground structure that they are seeing is an empty tunnel. This tunnel or lava tube is placed at an angle with discovered axis to it. So what even is this tunnel? These underground tunnels are called technically lava tubes and the names are self-explanatory. Back when the moon was still new and hot, there was volcanism on the moon and it had molten rock, just like Earth does. And just like Earth, the magma and lava here flowed on the moon underground through tunnels and tubes and reservoirs. The moon has since cooled and there is no volcanism right now on the moon. But these remnant structures from previous volcanism still exist because they carved out the geomorphology or the structural changes on the moon. And these exist just below the surface. Many lunar geologists think that there could indeed be a network of underground lava tubes that form tunnels and caves and are interconnected. And we might soon discover all of that as well going forward. So what would it be like actually being inside these tunnels? The temperature. Lunar soil is not going to really protect from heat or cold. So it will very much be hot or cold inside depending on the temperature outside, but there will be ample protection from solar radiation. If these tunnels are interconnected, the entrance to a tunnel will likely be a lunar base in the future. And we might see a network of underground labs and human habitats that exist right below the surface at specific spots on the moon where we go land and set up base. But these are fantastical ideas, even though they might turn to reality, we might probably not see any of these sooner than a decade. But we do have lots and lots of lunar missions now getting renewed and human interest again towards the moon. The moon has received a new burst of scientific and human attention. Soon we know that NASA is launching its Artemis missions and this will send humans back again to walk on the surface of the moon and conduct science experiments. They will also be setting up science labs there. 
China's robots are also already there and a lunar station will be set up soon. India's robots are there too and in fact Chandrayaan-4 is launching in four years to the South Pole. Japan will be there too. We see a lot of countries that are sending space probes to the moon and there will eventually be humans going to the moon as well over the next few years. And when there's finally talk of establishing a permanent human settlement or a base on the moon, we'll once again hear more about how these lava tubes could be potentially used in the future.